We're here at the biannual robotics conference in Israel. Tell us about the Israeli robot Spider-Man. Well, the robot Spider-Man was actually inspired by Spider-Man. It shoot arrows to the ceiling or to a wall and hold itself to these uh, arrows with the uh, cables and then walk on the cables and it can disconnect and reconnect cable, uh, the arrows to the uh, ceiling. Okay, now let's get back to the real world. Where are we going to see this? Where are you planning to sell this to? Who are your target audience? Well, we thought of um, selling this or suggesting this idea to the army for actually uh, shooting this kind of robot uh, between, um, between buildings and then the mounting camera or some sort of, of transmission devices that can uh, be uh, or beacon for navigation that you can uh, navigate it along, um, along the street but up on top. This robot can also be used in a large workshop without using any floor space and carry payloads from one place to another. Now your, uh, your group also put together other robots that we've seen here today. We are a, a mobile robotics group. We have snake robot, we have walking robot, we have robots for agriculture, for autonomous spraying and uh, we, we are dealing with group of robots for a coordination algorithms for group of robots. What's the difference between a machine that has a programming uh, mechanism and a robot? Well, there is no clear definition for robots. However, a, a machine that can be reprogrammed and can do several tasks and not only one unique task can be called a robot. And also we're seeing machines that make some sort of decisions according to the area, according to the landscape. Yes, uh, robots usually have a, a, a sensors for the perception of the environment and they have also a computer that serves as a brain to take decision and also motors and structures to actually do something and, and complete the tasks task in the real world.